Okay. So, hey, Gal, Marina, and me here. Uh, we're going to do some optimization workshops. We're just recording a few queries. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each query, kind of notice how long it took, um, we'll fork it, and we'll kind of go in kind of the same order every time. We're going to be like, okay, let's inspect a sample of our initial table. Let's think about what we want the end result to look like. And, uh, you know, ultimately, let's figure out how we can reduce the amount of time that things are happening. Um, so first, we'll start with this near transactions one. Um, it's You'll notice immediately in the full near table. It's totally fine. We want to go all the way back. Um, you'll notice it's doing some transactions succeeded filters, which is fine. And date is not null. It's doing a group by, so it's going to count the unique transactions each day and the fees. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try to optimize it. Okay, so what they're doing here is they're grouping by day and then they're doing, they're in like order by is like the cumulative part. Um, it might be worth doing this cumulative thing later uh, in the CT. So like instead of doing it inside, let's see if we can do it um, like after we've done the first table in the CT. Sometimes that helps because um, when you have this CT, it will already be at the day level which will make the data much smaller. It's possible that, you know, I'm not really yeah. changing anything by doing that, but always try to think about like, does the aggregation need to happen there? Can the aggregations happen later? Um, so they're doing, and then they're doing both. They're doing both um, of these, so. Okay, so let's see. So with so let's see how fast this goes. Unexpected, so um need a comma there. So while I'm here, I like to clean things up. So the goal is to beat 179 seconds. Um and get the exact same. Results get matched for mostly. So we'll confirm. So the optimizations we made were one, uh, we checked the transaction, we checked the fact transaction table to see if it was already one transaction hashed per row. It was, so we could remove the distinct. Uh, the second thing we did as we div zeroed the the Transaction fee. This might not have done much. The main thing we did was we, uh, you know, we confirmed no block time stamp was null. This probably didn't do much either. But sometimes, you know, you want to optimize the code too. Um, the fourth thing we did that was probably the biggest thing was um, we knew the we knew the cumulatives functions could occur, you know, were at the daily level. So a CTE first, let us do these you know, cumulatives outside the, uh, you know, transaction level. So we have the transaction level data, and then we turn it into day level data. The functions that work on the day level data, you can just do those afterward. Um, 